This is going to be your guide to using the Toxic Bird Legendary in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Starting off with the stats, I don't know what to make of them. This actually looks like some kind of random Generation 1 Pokemon that wasn't meant to be competitive. 91 attack, 70 special attack, okay so it's a tank with 88, 82, 125, and then a random 99 speed. After all the disgusting power creep we have seen in modern Pokemon, these stats don't even look that crazy. Even like 88, 125, for some reason I'm just kind of numb to all of that. But the weirdest thing about tank stats is that they don't have to be high. Because I keep coming back to Clefable, like 95, 73, Yes, I know it's unaware of making Clefable one of the strongest Pokemon because if the opponent is going Dragon Dance, Swords Dance, Calm Mind, or some kind of other crazy boosting, it's not going to have a choice item going for like instant crazy amounts of damage. So you strip away the stats and then 95-73 just kind of out tanks it, sets up, and then you can win the game on Calm Mind, Flamethrower, Moonblast, and a recovery move. But our hidden ability doesn't really make us any better at tanking, and 91 offensive stat technician really isn't a thing. So we're stuck with Toxic Chain, which sounds kind of cool, but tank Pokemon don't do a lot of damage. And you know what's better than Toxic Chain? Just using Toxic, because we have a guaranteed hit on that with a Poison-type Pokemon instead of a 30% chance to badly poison when we're going to be doing like 10% of their damage if we're swinging an offensive unboosted move. So I don't know what the plan is yet, but we get the Roost. So we have Clefable. Do we get anything else? And this is where just kind of like going through the moveset of this Pokemon makes no sense. It kind of seems like a double supportive-ish Pokemon, like semi bulky flying type to set up a Tailwind. Can also like taunt or something. And then the rest of it's a mess. Why does the 71 special attack Pokemon... Like, again, this actually just really feels like a Generation 1 not competitive Pokemon design. Where, okay, we have like a random Heat Wave and a Moon Blast. That's like cool to have on Pokemon Shadow Ball Sludge Bomb. But this thing is not a special attacker. And it's not really a physical attacker. And for the Technician, like, oh boy, Dual Wing Beat 91 Technician. Nah. Nah. At least we get the Calm Mind, which means we're going to have to change that Impish to Calm. That's the nice thing about Clefable. After like two Calm Minds, you get a chunky Moonblast. I think three two-hit KOs everything. And your Flamethrower super effective hits are also finding pretty early KOs. So you're going to need to use an extra Calm Mind here or something. Uh, it, it gets weird after that, so let's put the Calm Mind back. Air Slash. Um not affected by technician low power but if we're 99 speed we're just naturally outspeeding every tank so the 30 percent chance to flinch wait we don't get stabbed it's a bird come on so i, I mean like is, is, is that a thing uh we we oh wow we are actually discount clefable and the thing about Generation 9 is that there's not a lot of stat boosts. We're actually in a very heavy anti-setup meta, so it's kind of keeping all forms of setup, not just tanks, at bay. So we might not need the Unaware, and I guess into certain, like, stallier matchups, being able to just maybe hit a Toxic Chain while we're 2-hit or 3-hit KOing with Moonblast Heatwave kind of matters. And we still have the Stab, with our fairy on the Moonblast and the non-stab Heatwave to cover out like Clefable, and we can Terra into whatever we want. That's... That's so weird, while having just much higher special defense, just kind of like bulking out more things to set up the Calm Mind against. It Really, this needed to be flipped. If this was 88-125 on the defense, then we might have like a very formidable Calm Mind Pokemon. Because if you're boosting with Calm Mind, special attackers aren't really going to be too much of a problem. This might do something into like nasty plot matchups, or if the opponent's like ramping a little faster than you. So you just have like the natural stats in here. Uh, let's look at the weaknesses to see any kind of difference. So Steel Weakness going to be the same between the two. Uh, Clefable's only going to be uh, Steel Poison Weak. And then we have Ground and Psychic added in for this one. And a couple other resistances. So maybe you have a better chance to switch in on something and then do the same things. 
Also, more speed opportunities to just have the natural outspeed. And if you're natural outspeeding for predictable healing or being able to take less damage from special attacks, that's going to be really nice. So... I, I think we're just going to have to wait and see if it's good. Because it, it could just be Clefable 2.0, not even discount Clefable, when you look at the upside of more special defense, more speed. I don't like this. Uh, is there any other possible thing for it? Agility has weird interactions, but then you're trying to go offensive where it doesn't really exist. Yo, what if this thing got Serene Grace and then just became discount Togekiss with that Air Slash, but it doesn't, so we, that's just like wasted speculation. Hex. Hex follow-up is like weird to consider with the Toxic Chain, but again, it's only a 30% chance. And we already kind of saw this with the Sinistra, where like Sinistra, it's going to be using Macha Gacha more for a better chance to get that burn into the Hex. So that's the thing. Has Light Screen. Is it one of those weird Pokemon that only gets one? Yeah, so some Pokemon only get Reflect, other Pokemon only get Light Screen. So you can't go like Tailwind, Light Screen, Reflect, and Doubles, and then be really cool supportive Pokemon. And then you really just have nothing. You really look like very early Dex fodder Pokemon that can't piece anything together except for this. Wow, doesn't even get the Baton Pass. I was thinking you could use your bulk to get an agility, have the Key Berry, and maybe even Calm Mind if you're that bulky on the outspeed. Because yeah, like, again, like it's theoretical stuff that isn't worth going into because the core idea can't even exist. Why is Syrup Bomb so weak? Who was rolling with that in the Game Freak office? And then why is this Pokemon so middling and so few options? Like what what stat distribution or moveset combo was just too strong in testing? And I mean, like you could see an idea where it's like, oh, beat up. So it has a high chance of proccing Toxic Chain because that does work. Multi-hit has like apply like applies the ability every time but then you lose technician for that so that's also kind of silly and there's been some theory on beat up because its base power interaction is so weird but it means that's going to be the power of the move being used by a 91 attack pokemon so it's not like oh man i'm three hit KOing with beat up but it's technically a two hit ko because of the toxic the only thing i can think of is doubles air cutter try to toxic the opponents for some kind of hype moment and then icy wind versus tailwind which i think has been something discussed on this channel since like generation six what even is this thing i don't know it's it's kind of clefable that's i think all we got hope you guys enjoy the video hope you all have a nice day thank you very much for watching